If you're looking for an item lost to history, you'll find it at the house with the Sphinx missing nose right there on the front lawn. It's the domain of Laura and Rick Brown, co-founders of Hands House Studio. Laura and I both are trained sculptors, and we've been creative partners for 50 years. Well, Hands House is a nonprofit educational organization, and, but primarily what we do is replicate large historic objects. Their projects range from this period-accurate Trojan horse to this functioning 18th century human crane. If you replicate a historic object and then you follow the same path of the original makers using the same tools, the same technologies, you can uncover you know, history and culture that, that often you can't find in any other way. This is what we built in Poland. That was certainly the case in 2011. After eight years researching a style of Polish synagogue wiped out by the Nazis during World War II, a Jewish history museum asked Hans House to recreate the lost synagogue's ornate ceiling in full color from a series of black and white photos. The entire process documented in the film raised the roof. In the end, it's not just a photograph, that it's not in a book that they actually can look under it and feel, you know, what the original people would have felt. In April 2019, the world watched in horror as Notre Dame, France's iconic cathedral, burned. Before the fire was out, I had at least one phone call. Hans House has got to do this project. It would be a year before Hans House would have that opportunity. President Macron, you know, came out quickly and said, we're going to rebuild Notre Dame in four years, and we're going to use new technology and new materials. And then the, the, there was an, I mean, kind of a, a backlash from the public saying, no, no, we're going, to re, we're going to rebuild it traditionally. An organization of French carpenters jumped into action and built a truss, the hidden backbone that supports the cathedral ceiling, to show it could be done in the traditional way. 3,500 miles away, Hans House volunteered to do the same. They were excited, they wanted to work with us as a gesture of global solidarity among builders around the world. The first domino had fallen and builders from across the U.S. were united in Washington, putting 800-year-old tools to use. So if you're gonna build a roof structure from the 12th century, you've gotta have some axes. The truss was completed and raised on the National Mall in 2021, but Hans House hopes the journey will not end there. From the very beginning, we had this maybe uh, overly optimistic goal that we would like to gift our trust to France. And in fact, it would be used as one of the official trusses in the reconstruction. That and everybody having a fantastic learning experience would be our two big goals. Though it may lack Notre Dame's 800-year history, St. Francis Chapel, tucked inside the Prudential Center in Boston's Back Bay, has proudly served the Catholic faithful since 1991. 65,000 people a day pre-pandemic would walk through this uh, Prudential Center mall. So bringing Christ to the marketplace, this hidden gem, does exactly that. Father Bill Brown certainly hopes visitors might stop by St. Francis for one of the daily masses or some quiet contemplation. But in 2017, the chapel acquired another reason to visit in the form of three first-class relics. So first-class relic would be something that really was from the body of what we call a saints. A piece of hair, it can be a, a bone, anything that uh, reminds us of what they did. People of a certain age might recognize the first relic, gray hairs from St. John Paul II, who made a historic visit to Boston in 1979, early in his papacy. Less well-known are Saints Faustina Kowalska and Maximilian Kolbe. The latter, whose hair is displayed here, was a Catholic priest. Imprisoned at Auschwitz for his anti-Nazi views, he volunteered to die to save another prisoner. Maximilian Kolbe was the one that we have highlighted here as a, a symbol of what it means for us to give our lives for the sake of others. His relic is preserved with the outline of the gates of Auschwitz with one significant difference. While the original gates read, work makes you free. Maximilian Kolbe says, no, the truth makes you free. 
a nice tradition each year, St. Francis Chapel before the marathon, the Sunday before the marathon, yeah. special mass for the Boston Marathon runners. Of course, this year, it's on Sunday, Easter mm -hmm. Sunday, which is nice. Very nice. And back to Han's house. It takes uh, many hands to actually build and raise a medieval trust. And many organizations pitched in, including the North Bennett Street School in the North End. And if you're interested in learning more about the project, we encourage you to check out our website.